<coughs> Hello, you have reached the Calentir internal decision meeting for the month of September. We will be looking at the letter dated, the Calentir internal letter dated 824. I am Dorcas Whitecap. I am the IS Herald, that's Internal Submissions Herald, and I'm having difficulty with my microphone and speakers and stuff, so I will spend a lot of time on mute this time around. Uh, the rest of you, introduce yourselves. Take it away, Gottfried. Okay. I am Gottfried von Schwaben. Uh, I am Saker Herald, uh, or also the person responsible for external uh, submissions from Calentir. Uh, we will then take it to the to the next person, uh, Brigida. Hi, everybody. I'm Brigida. I'm Gold Falcon. I'm in charge of the College of Heralds for Calendar. Okay, Kathleen. Hi, I'm Kathleen in Wheelochlin. I am the group herald for the Canton of Exeter. Okay, Zanita. Hello, I am Zanita Basaggio. I am currently Red Hawk Herald for Calentir. That's external commenting herald for about a, a week left. <laughs> Giovanni. Uh, hi, I'm Giovanni Lorodan. I am uh, currently the Kite uh, Regional um, Reporting Deputy Herald for the Northeast of Calentir, basically Iowa. Hervéus? I'm Hervéus Dormond. Uh, my camera seems to not be working, which is why you just get this static image. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But hi, I'm Hervéus Dormond, Merciless Herald, and I'm not from Calendar, but I hang out here and, and kibitz regularly anyway. <laughs> and more than welcome. And uh, Gwen. I'm Gawain of Miss Bridge. I'm uh, Green Anchor Herald, and that's an, an at-large uh, job. Mostly I do commentary. Sometimes I uh, help with table commenting tables at meetings. Andy, Andy was, was former Gold, Gold Falcon. Falcon. And with that, Dorcas, we give it back, give it back to, you. to you. All right. So, um, we are, uh, let's, let's just jump right in. Let us look at item number one, a resub device for Ashland de Mumford. Uh, this one is really the same as last time. We just redrew it and added a ducal coronet. So it is Purpure on a Pile Cottest issued, issuant from Sinister Argent. Oh, let me start over. Purpure. On a pile cottest issuant from Sinister Argent, a wooden bow proper with a threaded needle knocked per pure, and in Dexter Chief a ducal coronet ore. I think um, the redraw addresses all of the uh, reasons for the return. That was the question that I had because I, I, I was reading it and I wasn't sure if we were running the fine line of why the redraw was. Um, and I'm assuming that because we beat the needle up sufficiently that it no longer has that issue. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes, yeah, that yeah. is totally it. The needle is now of equivalent visual weight to the bow, so I think we're good. I'm, I might consider reworking the blazon a little bit, but I think it's fine as it is. Uh, I, I and and it, they'll change it if it's needed, but I would think it would be a wooden bow proper knocked with a threaded needle per per. But that's it's nitpicky, and I don't think it really matters. Okay, that's the only that's the only serious question I had on that one. As we went up, as opposed, to, I'd really hate for it to go up. And bounce back down again. I, I agree that it appears to address the reason for return. Okay. Yep. All right, moving right along. Um, and I sure hope that whatever is in the background isn't echoing through everybody else's speakers. Um, we have item number two uh, name and device for um, Duke Ashir, and it's pronounced. 
Basianu Cohen Ashir. So let's talk about his name first. Okay, oh, nothing to say. Check out. Can you say that again, Gawain? The documentation for you to check out. Yeah, I don't do super well with um, Mongolian names, so I'm going to leave that to others. There is no conflict with a sheer. <laughs> that much we could probably say with, with assurance. Yes. Or is it with assurance? Oh, ow. Oh. Mm. Oh, um. And thus goes down the Calentier College of Heralds. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mark that one as send up. Uh, then we have a device which is Azure on a lozenge argent, a phoenix sable, and flamed ghouls, issuant from a ducal coronet sable. And I had a short private conversation with Gunvor Oral, who suggests that this wasn't issuant, but rather it was conjoined, and if we reblazoned it as conjoined, that might uh, not trip people's triggers to uh, have to talk about the visual weight. Okay. okay. Not, then let's, let's do that, please, because I'm looking at that, and I'm sorry, I'm just not seeing it. Everything seems, I mean, it's visually how I would expect it to look like. And, 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 and well, you know my commentary about having to come out with, with, with uh, uh, architect's tools to figure out heraldry. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm missing. I can see either side because I would think issuant from should be in the center of. Um, I know we've had a lot of issues with this device, so I am good with flipping it to conjoined, setting it up, and let Reef make the decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with with um, the comment that it doesn't really look issuant without the flamage going all the way down into the coronet itself. Okay, so then by saying conjoined, we actually clear everything up and, and, and pull all the argumentation out. I think so. And then let's, yeah, okay. we're going to get some slight issue about it being, you know, under it instead of just touching it. It, it starts a different argument, but I think it clears yeah. up. But it fills the. the I mean, you, you fill the space anymore, and things are going to start getting cramped and cartoonish. I, we'll do that then. We'll change that blazon. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. I'm going to mark that as uh, to reblazon as Azure on a lozenge argent, a phoenix sable, and flamed ghouls conjoined in pale to a ducal coronet sable, send it up and let Wreath do as he wants to do. It's Wreath's problem now. Yeah. This, this one could go either way, but sending it up is the right call. Check. All right then, so let us move on to item number three. Scroll, scroll, scroll. A device also for a shear, and let's all practice saying his name, Basayanu Cohen Ashir, and that may or may not be right, but it's how he pronounces it. So anyway, the device, no, the badge, fieldless, on a hand azure, a ducal coronet or. There are not many hands blue, which, or single hands blue fieldless. Yep. I know someone with hands of blue two by two, but yeah, that's significantly more than one. <laughs> it's not relevant to conflict here. <laughs> but I found no conflict. All right, so I will mark that one as moving, uh, sending it up. Moving along, item number four: a name and device 
for Elise or perhaps Elish. Um, Elise Inyan Malrune. I can't pronounce that. Vale Runath. Wee Gaelic. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, any consonant in Irish followed by an H is either silent or pronounced as V. <laughs> we should make Kathleen say that three times. <laughs> and Gaelic is not my forte, so I have to go with what Ragged Staff, unless somebody else has got other information about the Lenition. I th think I, I think we have to have the H in, or I I think I think Ragged Staff is right, and in any case, this is the kind of thing where it can get fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as there's no boxes of doom to get in the way of fixing it, which. Maybe that's a note we should make. The The submitter did not check. Well, the submitter allows all changes or whatever is appropriate for the uh, mm -hmm. what boxes were checked, if any boxes were checked. Mm -hmm. I do want to interrupt here and point out that uh, Ragged Staff's first comment was about the, the patronym. So she's talking about, I believe, Val Rune is correct as female names are lenited as Inyan, except I don't understand what she's talking about because Val Rune is not the female name, it's uh, it's the patronymic. Um. Yes, uh, surnames for females are lenited except for the names that start with or end with blah blah blah. Yep. Either way, yeah, she says it's good. That's lenited, it's the, the patronymic that it is. <laughs> she copied and pasted straight from the article on Medieval Scotland, so it reads a little funny, but she is referencing the, the patronymic. Mm -hmm. So it's good. And there's no, I didn't find any conflicts. Okay, well then I will mark this one just to send up now the, all right, now the device uh, that is. Per pale sable and ghouls, three escallops argent. And that is a very nice looking device. I was gonna yeah. say that's a beautiful device. It always surprises me when something that simple doesn't turn out to have six conflicts. Yeah, because it looks super very familiar. Nice. Does it look? Does it look familiar because she's been using it a while? I mean, I don't even know. Oh. I have no idea, and I'm not saying that that it's a conflict or anything. It's just it's maybe it's I, because of what's name's device. I don't know. All scallops look the same. It may just be that it's such a medieval aesthetic that we expect to have seen it all over the place. Yeah. Well, it's certainly a theme two and one, and and then the purple. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So nice armory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I'll mark that one to be sent up. Moving right along, item number five, um, a resub badge for Constantia, and I think it was resubbed at. This is a resub at Kingdom. Okay, so fieldless a seraph proper, and go. I had to look it up, but yes, a proper Seraph does have all those sorts of funky colors. It's such a sweet little Seraph. I think it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing. Should the submitter? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, nobody has anything earth-shattering to add, so I'll mark that to be sent up. Moving right along, a new badge for Marin Thorskabeter, fieldless, a lion conturney, maintaining a lightning bolt in its paws, sable. And let me get to, there's the... Okay. Uh, do we need to specify the... Um 
the um, what is the term like the key of the of the bolt itself, or is this the proper? If, if I'm following what you're saying, that is a, a standard depiction of a thunderbolt. The Shazam is like been no good no. for eons. Is yeah. that what I'm understanding? I think he wants to know if it's supposed to be in pale. So, if we need to specify. Ah. That too. Um, we could throw in pale wise, and if it's superfluous, they just knock it out. Yeah. I'm I'm taking a look here to see if, if we have a I'm losing the word for the word that we're looking for. Pale the orientation? Yes. Yeah. There is no default for a lightning bolt. It must be specified. Okay, then we'll put we'll drop in pale wise, maintaining a lightning bolt pale wise, and we will definitely annotate that it's an SFPP when we when we send it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will copy and paste the new blazon with the word palewise into my notes. Um, let us move on to item number uh, seven. Oh no, somebody's got something else. Let me mute. Sorry, I just noticed um, it may just be an artist note, but it may affect the blazon that we're talking about. It's maintaining in its paws, Sable. It really only has that one front, one forepaw on the bolt. Eh, it's touching. Okay. <laughs> I do think it might be. I'm happy with that one, uh, that answer. Yeah. I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, no. Question Do we need to note um, the position of the lion being on its back feet? No, it's, it's rampant. I know, but that right now there's no blazon in there. That's the yeah, default thank you. for Good lions. Catch. Rampant's default. Yeah. Rampant's default. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. We only need to specify concerning. For the sure. ramp, lion ramp okay. part. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Uh, the only nitpick I have, and is not something that we should actually, I don't think we need to change, so we'll change it if needed, but I would do a lion concerning maintaining in its paws a lightning bolt. But I don't think it has to be. I think it's fine. Well, no, something does have to change because it can't be in its paws stable. Yeah, no, you're right. Maintaining in its paws a lightning bolt pale wise sable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, that's what I just did. I've got it fieldless, a lion contourney, maintaining in its paws a lightning bolt pale wise sable. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to call that one good. We're going to send, reblaze in it, and send it up. Uh, with also the mention of the, the SFPP. So item number seven, um, a RISA badge for Michele de Medici, uh, profess ghouls in Azure, a ladle and a rapier, I will correct the spelling, a ladle and a rapier, both fesswise reversed argent. Uh, okay. I think the redraw using, especially specifically using the already registered items that he has on his device, has uh, met all the requirements for the reason for the return. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, so I have got in my notes to simply correct the spelling and send it up. So moving along to item number eight, a new device for Otto Augustine von Württemberg, uh, per Saltier Argent and Azure in pale two capital letters T and in FES two annulets counterchanged. I did reach out to Mistress Mirabelle and she sent me some documentation so we can call it uh, uh, Roman Square or we can call it English Caroline Minuscule. Uh, we just, I think we just need to 
attach the documentation when we send it up. Right. The last, Gunvar, the last thing she said, we don't actually include the hand in the blazon, but it does have to be in the documentation. So if we have those pictures with the English Caroline minuscule as part of the submission going up, so I'll need those images uh, to, to put into the item going up. I think we can, yeah, the blazon will be just as it is and then perfect. Yeah. Agreed. Um, has did he say anything about wanting? He he has a new name change on the next one, on the next letter. So he still wants Otto, even though he's going with a completely different name. Okay. His intention is to keep everything as alternates. So he's gonna have a new device, but that's he's probably gonna wait a little bit on that. Okay. Okay then, so uh, simply uh, going to make sure I attach some docs and I'll probably upload them to the packet so that you have them. And, uh, and I will send that up. So then the final item is number nine. This is the resub device for, uh, how does she pronounce it? She pronounces it uh, Celine. Celine of Lesbos is how she pronounces it. So, per fess, per pure invert, a tree blasted and eradicated, and in chief, three crescents bendwise argent. Go. I found no conflicts. Mm -hmm. the, re the rework cleared it. I found a couple close things, but no conflict. Yep. Yep. Well, okay, so I will mark that one as send up. And you know, we have gone through all the items. So um, everybody, uh, I'm gonna read through the notes and, and we can call it done. Um, item number one, send it up, the device. Item number two, the name, send it up. Item number two, the device. Reblazon as Azure on a lozenge argent, a phoenix, sable, and flamed ghouls, conjoined and pale to a ducal coronet sable, and send that up. Number three, the badge, send it up to Laurel. Number four, send it up, and number four, that was the name, and number four, the device, also send it up. Number five, the badge, send it up. Number six, the badge, mention the SFPP for the lightning bolt and reblazon it as fieldless, a lion can tourney, maintaining in its paws a lightning bolt palewise sable. Number seven, the badge, correct the spelling and the blazon doesn't change other than rapier is now spelled right. Number eight, the device, I'm going to attach those docs and we will forward it to Laurel. And number nine, the device, we will also send that up. Does anybody have anything to add before we do the, cl the closey things? Um, do we need to make a note to send up the name with this? Oh, yes, because the name was penned, or the name was pended to go along with the device. Oh, 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 good catch. What's the name? Yes, sorry for Celine. Okay. So we need to, it's, yeah, so actually it'll be new name and device going up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great catch. Dorcas left a note for us. <laughs> I just mentioned it. No, no, yeah, yeah. Nope. Okay, so I have added that note to, to my notes. So we will go and fetch Celine's name, which is in the, the parking internal letter, so it's where it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mention that the next decision meeting will be on October the 26th, 2018. That will be a big letter. Gosh, I hope I get my microphone issues fixed. And I'm going to click this button to stop the broadcast and wave uh, goodbye, wait, everybody. Wait, wait. you Great. said when was the, uh, the next 
decision? I have the last Monday of October is the 29th, not the 26th. calendar <laughs> my calendar confirms actually, actually i have the fourth the fourth monday of october is the 22nd mm -hmm. all right sure. yes i was working on the next uh proto loi yep, and yep. uh got confused so there will be a decision meeting on november the 26th, but not October the 26th. It'll be October the 22nd. Thanks for catching that. Anything else before I click this little red button and we all say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining Bye. us. Bye.